You're surfing the net again without taking the proper steps on securing all your valuable and important information. Hi, I'm Captain America. Kind of. And I am proud to say that this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, Earth's mightiest hero that is often overlooked. You may not be aware, but with Surfshark and a click of a button, you can turn into an anonymous and hard to trace online user that not even SHIELD, HYDRA, or the government can see you. Plus, you can access different content that is in different countries. So if you're feeling up to it, you can watch that new Disney Plus show that includes the bootleg version of myself. <laughs> John Walker, I have not forgotten what you've done. Anyway, it's super easy to do so though. Just connect through the service. So here you can see I'm connecting to Canada and you refresh the page. That's it. And that is how I am able to watch one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. So if you want to avenge the fallen that have succumbed to pointless data mining and limitations, all you have to do is use my promo code to get 83% off plus three extra months free. And Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's absolutely no risk. Again, just follow the link in my description box to get 83% off plus three extra months free. You're welcome. Oh, I wanna wear this for the aesthetic. The purpose, Avengers, assemble. I'm going to sweat my ass off though. Welcome to this video. I am so happy to be sitting down with you guys and actually get to kind of talk more in depth about the movies, the characters, my thoughts. If you're just clicking on this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I watched the entirety of the MCU from Captain America to Endgame. I did it in chronological order instead of release order, which pissed a lot of people off, but hey, I had fun. Anyway, so this video, we are going to start off with the ranking of the movies that I did watch. If you watch my music channel, you know that my rankings are always awful. I have no taste, so I can't imagine this being any different. I can't wait for y'all to come for me. Cause I mean, Marvel fans have already been coming for me, mostly men. Call the police. We need to call the police. So this is the list we are working with. Superior, awesome, solid, good, okay. Um, do we like those categories? Do we want to make it spicy? No, I'm okay with that because honestly, I don't think there's necessarily like a bad Marvel movie. I mean, are there ones that are better than others? Hell yeah. And we'll get into that. So I'll start with The Incredible Hulk because What was that movie? I'm sorry. I did not. Like, they said literally 20 lines within the first 45 minutes of the film. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'll also start with Captain Marvel because I like Carol as a character. I like her as a person because it shows a strong woman in a different light than what most people like. However, the movie itself did not really care for the first half, half of the movie. I loved the second Nick came in and you got to really see that dynamic between Nick and Carol. I think that made the whole movie so much more enjoyable. I'm gonna put her in good. Okay. I'm actually gonna do Black Widow too real quick because I pretty much already know where I wanna put her. When it came to the Black Widow film, okay, let's get into the drama too real quick, right? <laughs> let's talk about the tea because how ironic was it that I was posting my reaction that had Black Widow in it on the day that it was announced Scarlet and Disney are, um, how do I say this, not besties. I think good for her because at the end of the day, like I love Disney but they breached their contract. And if it was the other way around, they would not be hesitant to do the same. However, it is just so insane that it took this long to get a Black Widow film. I mean, she was an original Avenger. She was in the Captain America movies. She was an Iron Man. Like it wasn't like she was a side character. You know, she's not Mr. Hawkeye and we'll get into that later. But she was like, she was the girl. She's the it girl. I don't know how else to explain it to you. So the fact they didn't really explore her character or her background until after she died was really disappointing. And I feel like with Black Widow, it gave us more information on how she became the way that she was. But I feel like the film really just set up Yelena's character. And it was made like in that kind of a purpose to progress her story, which I don't mind at all because I love her. I can't wait for her to kill Hawkeye. <laughs> I can't wait. We can't kill him. I don't know. Like I wish there was some sort of like trilogy with her and it would have been really cool to see her build that relationship with her sister. So I'm going to put Black Widow in solid. Doctor Strange, I think I'm going to put in good because I, honestly, I don't think anything's going to be on Hulk level. I think Hulk is going to sit his little Hulk ass <laughs> in that category by himself. Doctor Strange, I don't think is my favorite, but it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I even said it in my video going into it. It was one of the movies that I was like, I don't 
really want to watch it. Can I just skip it? But it actually was like decent. There was a lot of funny moments. Uh, what's this, my mantra? The Wi-Fi password. We're not savages. I learned a little bit more of like how the magic works. I learned how powerful he is like as a being. I was like, oh shit, okay. Okay, let me not mess with you. And I'm actually really excited for his next film. Okay, first Thor, I'm gonna put in solid behind Black Widow. I do think Black Widow is better than the first Thor. But when it comes to the Thor movies, let's just get them out of the way. The first two, I felt were okay, but they really hit their stride with Thor when they came out with the third one. The third one I feel like had such a good balance between humor and action and story progression within the characters that the other two just didn't have. Actually, I said the Hulk was gonna be by herself. I lied. Miss Dark World? I mean, you're gonna go in front of Hulk because I do think you're better, but know your place because what the hell was happening in that movie? I don't know. You may still survive. Is that not Michelle Pfeiffer? Who is that? I don't think it is. Oh, her name's Renee Russo. She reminds me so much of her. Rich! Ooh, she's an Aquarius. I believe you. What I miss? Ragnarok though, I'm putting her in superior. And you know how I know she's superior? Because listen, ugh, my nose is itchy, I'm so sorry. Since I've been working on the Marvel movie series, like this has been my life for the last like three months, I would say. I've been working on this since around May. It is August. <laughs> so since it's been like my main focus, I've been talking to people about it. I've been talking to my sister about it. And I'm gonna get her to like, basically do what I did. There are a couple movies that I cannot wait for her to watch. Ragnarok is one of them. I think she's gonna love it. It's so good. It's so good. I think I'm also gonna put Black Panther in Superior. Like if I had to sit here and try to critique the movie, head empty. I really can't think of anything wrong with the movie. They had a villain that I couldn't help but feel for. Like Killmonger, was he really wrong? You know, like everything he was saying, was he really wrong? Two billion people all over the world, it looks like us, but their lives are a lot harder. Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all. Was his execution of what he wanted to do wrong? Yes. <laughs> and I think that's what made it so interesting because it was like, you know, and it showed like people aren't perfect. Characters aren't perfect, especially, you know, with the dad and everything. Like he had a past that T'Challa didn't even know about. I actually really, really like Homecoming. Oh, I don't know where I want to put it. There's a part of me that wants to put it in Superior, but there's also a part of me that's like, don't get too excited now. I just really love Homecoming. It, it's kind of like in the same realm, I think, as Ragnarok, when it comes to like the comedy and the character development and everything. Maybe I should put in Superior. I, I think I'm gonna put in Superior for right now, to be honest. I mean, we might come back to her, but I can't tell you when I first saw that movie and then it got revealed that the dad was, or like the bad guy was the dad. I was like, oh shit, oh shit, we're in a pickle. Peter, Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper, you know? Far From Home. I actually did end up watching Far From Home on my own. I hope that's okay, but after watching like 20 some movies with y'all, I kind of, this is gonna sound bad, but like I kind of wanted to watch a movie by myself. <laughs> and I thought it was cute. I'm not like a huge sequel kind of gal unless it's Shrek 2. That's a sequel I can talk about all day, every day. But Far From Home, I thought she was cute, but I know for sure now I've seen too many Marvel movies because I immediately, like I picked the plot up so fast. Like the second Jake Gyllenhaal's character popped up, I was like, no. I don't trust you. But I also don't trust Jake Gyllenhaal. I've never really liked Jake Gyllenhaal. And now with the recent news of him not bathing, it's making sense. Stop it. Get some help. But we got to see um, Peter and MJ become Endgame, so. And then Ned with the little blonde girl. I thought that was so funny. So I think I'm gonna put Far From Home in good, but I'm gonna put it at the very front. Like it could almost be solid, but I think because I picked up on it so fast, like it kind of ruined it for me. Like I was just waiting for the reveal. So I'm gonna put it in good. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I'm also gonna put in good. I think before, yeah. Yeah, 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 that feels right. The first Ant-Man though, I'm gonna put in solid. For sure, for sure. I might actually, 
do I want to put it in front of Black Widow? Y'all gonna fucking kill me because I love Natasha, but, ugh. That's my opinion! Guardians of the Galaxy, ooh, I actually love the first Guardians. I think it's so good. And then Guardians, Volume 2, I'm gonna put in good. Here. I love the humor of Guardians, I love the flow of it, but I remember watching it, I was like, okay, I'm kind of ready to go to the next movie, and then even editing it, I was like, nothing really important happens, like, we're going through daddy issues. Girl, I already got that on my own, like, I don't need to see it in a film. Root, get out of the way, you're gonna get hurt! Hi! No! No! I think honestly the first Avengers, I want to put in Superior. I, I don't know, like, even though I know the Avengers, like, going into it, I knew, like, bits and pieces, and I saw the last two. There was still something so special about watching the first one and seeing them all kind of be together in a team for the first time. I mean, it has literally the iconic scene of the MCU, so I feel like I have to put some respect on her name. Speaking of putting respect on her name, Hey, Captain America Winter Soldier, um, I see you, boo. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm gonna put you where you deserve. Um, oh, see, this is when it gets hard, like within the category, trying to place it. I'm like, I don't know. The first Captain America, I think I'm gonna put in awesome. It was so fun to watch it. Like, I see why you guys wanted to watch it with me, because I got to see it for the first time through my sister's eyes. And, you know, it was so funny because she has seen the first two Iron Mans, and she is so up Iron Man's ass. <laughs> Pray for her. <laughs> so, when I was like, oh, just wait, like, you're gonna love Steve Rogers, you're gonna love Captain America, and she's like, I don't know. But then we watched the first one, and she cried multiple times in the movie. I was like, if you're crying to the first Captain America, oh honey. You've got a big storm coming. Okay, Civil War for Captain America. I feel like after I filmed all my videos, right, and before, I mean, as I started kind of editing it, whatever, I started really diving into more of the fandom aspect of the MCU. And when it comes to Civil War and Age of Ultron, I see a lot of hate towards those two movies. And I'm like, did we watch the same movies? Because I thought they were great. So when it comes to Civil War, I'm gonna put it in awesome, honestly. I might even put it, I might even put it at the forefront. Is it because I'm a messy bitch? I don't know. So then when it comes to Age of Ultron, I think I'm gonna put it in awesome as well. I really liked it. Is it because I'm up Vision and Wanda's ass? Maybe, okay, maybe. Maybe I like torturing myself. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, do we stand the whole relationship thing between the Hulk and that? No. I felt like that came out of so left field. Like, if they were going to ship Nat with anyone, Steve Rogers was right there. <laughs> like, they had such a natural chemistry and flow between the two of them, and, like, they got each other a lot. I don't know. Like, that was right there. Y'all just need to give Bruce Banner, like, some more screen time? I don't know. The first Iron Man, I feel like I need to put in Superior. I actually really liked Iron Man 2. I'm gonna put it in Solid. Oops. I think over here. I feel like it really started setting up Tony Stark's character. We started seeing a little bit more development with his like humane side and not being so self-centered and so selfish. And it really started setting up how much he actually does care about what people think of him. I mean, I think we really see that in the third one. And then we really see that in Age of Ultron. And maybe that's why I love it too, because I think of that one scene of Tony. And I'm the man who killed the Avengers. I saw it, the whole world too. It's because of me. I didn't do all I could. Playing on your feet. I wasn't tricked. I was shown. It wasn't a nightmare. It was my legacy. He's known about Infinity War and Endgame for so long, and he was so worried about his legacy and, like, what people thought of him. And, I mean, that's still, like, a bit of the self-centered Tony Stark that we know. But he does care about people as well. That's why I think it made his death just hit so much harder, was just knowing how much he did struggle with, like, trying to do the right thing, not only for himself, but for like the Avengers and other people. And that's why we saw what we saw in Civil War. So, so Iron Man 3, I think I'm gonna put in good because it really wasn't like my favorite Iron Man. She was cute. And then on to the last Avengers. Oh, 
This is where it gets kind of tricky because I feel like you can't have one without the other. It is such a good two-part situation. However, Infinity War, I know for sure, I'm gonna put in Superior. Is that like, do I hate myself? Why am I putting it in front of everything else? I just, I really, really can never forget the experience of going to the theater. And maybe that makes my love for it like so much stronger because it was just such a moment. You know, and I talked about it in my other video. It was the first like, excuse me. It was like the first superhero movie where I saw the good guys not win in the end. And to see half the world disappear and Thanos just like sitting in his little hut in the sunset, growing kumquats or something, I don't know. It was just so jarring to leave the theater just not satisfied. And to see Gamora get like thrown off the cliff and really see what Thanos is about. Like, ooh, it's so good. So then when it comes to Endgame, like I feel the same way because the last battle, the last battle itself isn't superior. No, no doubt about it. From on your left, Avengers Assemble, Captain America being able to hold the hammer, I am Iron Man, you know, like there's so many great things, but there's so many things about the movie that also I'm like... What? So I think Endgame, I'm gonna put here, but just know it's like, it's kind of in between both. Okay, this is my ranking. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, there's a couple things I think depending on the day could probably move around. If I had to say like my favorite movies from the series, it's definitely superior and awesome, for sure. Those are like my favorite movies of the bunch. So with that, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't wanna hear any more opinions from me. So um, at this point, thank you for watching my ranking. If I never see you again, hope you had a fun time. If not, don't forget to leave a dislike. Let me know. From here on out, I did ask you guys in a post questions or concerns or comments that you maybe wanted to hear more from me about. I probably covered quite a bit going through the movies, but to go a little more in depth of characters and things like that, I'm gonna go through and pick out a couple that we can talk about. I'm so excited. You missed out on Spider-Man Far From Home. Would love a video with that in your movie ranking. So kind of already touched upon that. Um, I am really intrigued to see what the next Spider-Man is going to be about. The whole rumor of like Andrew Garfield being in it and Tobey Maguire has my head spinning because they totally mentioned the multiverse in Far From Home. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Like, girl, what are you setting up here? But you know, if we had the trailer, I could talk more about that with y'all. But she's nowhere to be seen, so. Were you able to watch Loki and Spider-Man Far From Home? Thank you for being my rewatchable comfort channel. We stand a queen. Ah, I love, I love when you guys tell me like, oh, this is my comfort channel. You're my comfort YouTuber. God, it makes my heart grow three times too big. When it comes to Loki though, I have not watched Loki yet. Honestly, have not had time. I know a lot of you guys have talked about like maybe doing a series. I don't want to do it right now just because there's been so much Marvel content and for other people who aren't into it, like I need to kind of... I need to kind of feed them too, you know? Um, I did watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier and I think they touched upon a lot of great things in that series. I think they could have gone deeper with the whole like race issue and like how people would view like a black Captain America in these times. And then finding out, I completely forgot his name, but like the first super soldier who was black. It was just a really interesting thing to go through, but with it still being Disney, I just, I wish they would have gone more into it, but I get like for their corporation why they didn't, so. But anyway, so when it comes to Loki, um, I have a lot of like mixed feelings about doing a series just because like I said, I wanna feed my other viewers and I kind of seen a lot about the series through Twitter um, because a lot of people are still talking about the show and like not liking this one chick, Sylvie or something. I don't know what the hell's going on there, but Y'all need to chill. I'd like to hear what you think about the ending arcs for all the OG Avengers. Oh, and I'd like to hear some of your theories about Wanda's future. So when it comes to OG Avengers, we'll start with Iron Man. Y'all know I love that whole story arc. I think it was so beautifully done, especially knowing that he was the whole reason that the MCU kind of started, kind of took off. And then with Natasha, I said it in my video, but I do want to go in depth just real quick about it. I get why she had to die. And I think it did her character justice to die the way that she did because you find out so much about her story and how much wrong she's done and how much guilt she holds on to it. So to be able to do something for the greater good of the world and the team, I think is like the best way for her to have died. If she had died any other way, like she just got killed in battle or something, I feel like it would have 
kind of done her dirty. Steve Rogers, mixed emotions. Uh, he got the ending that he wanted, but there's something about it that's like still not very satisfying And I know a lot of people bring up the whole like he wouldn't leave Bucky He wouldn't leave Sam, but I think he trusts Sam enough to be the Captain America And then when it comes to Bucky, Bucky was kind of sorted out because he was in Wakanda and he got his mind Figured out, you know, and like he's not going through what he was going through. Granted, he still has issues you know, we saw him go through therapy, which girl, that's what I should be doing. <laughs> I don't know, like that aspect of his ending doesn't really bother me, but there's just something about it that I don't find very satisfying. I don't know. You know what? I think it's because like, which one was it? Was it, it was Age of Ultron. I really like Age of Ultron. <laughs> Where at the end, you know, he kind of talked about like being okay with who he is. And he even said like, you know, the man that went in the ice, that's not me anymore. Family, stability, guy who wanted all that went in the ice 75 years ago. I think someone else came out. So I feel like, honestly, Chris Evans' contract was up and they're like, I don't know how to get rid of this man. And that was like the best way to do it. I don't really know. Hulk, I'm very excited for the next one because I don't understand, or it's not that I don't understand because now I've learned like there's Professor Hulk and there's like She-Hulk coming out. It'll be interesting to see where they go with him. I don't really have anything else to say because there's still so much of his story to be told. Thor, I cannot wait for him to be with the other Guardians. Like I said, I think they really found like a good balance for Thor and Ragnarok and it's gonna totally translate with that crew. So that's super exciting. And I'm happy that he's kind of doing his own thing now. Like even if I don't like the majority of the Thor movies, I love Thor. Like I've never not liked Thor. So for him to realize like, you know, I don't want to be king. Love that for him. Do you king? Do what makes you happy. And then we have Mr. Clint. Okay, when it comes to Clint, when it comes to Hawkeye, I absolutely don't hate him. I just have no connection with him. They really did not build anything for me to gravitate towards him, you know? And like, they even made little comments here and there, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> again, Age of Ultron, where Natasha even makes a little joke. Are you sure he's gonna be okay? Pretending to need this guy really brings the team together. So I'm sure in the comics, like, he's a great guy, like, he does a lot of great things, but in the movies, like, who the fuck is Clint? We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. Oh, and in theories about Wanda's future, um, I don't really have any theories except she's gonna be crying some more. Also, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, am I gonna continue like with Marvel now that I did all this? Of course, like I didn't, it, what? I didn't enter into this fandom, this world for nothing. Like I'm, I'm in it now, we're here. Will I do everything on the channel? Probably not because there is so much content like literally well by the time you're watching this it's probably out But the what if series is gonna be out. I'm, I'm gonna watch that on my own But if you want to like, you know, know what I think or anything like that I can definitely keep you updated I can post it like on the community tab or if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter I've been very inactive at the moment, but that was because I was so busy editing I'm gonna get more into that. So just follow me on my socials or Watch the community tab and I'll keep you updated. Okay, hold on guys, the hair is going up. I'm legit sweating. What did you think about the change in quality as the movie progressed? Marathoning the movies is almost like looking at how cinematography evolved over 10 years. So I'm curious to know your thoughts about it. It's actually interesting because there was a certain point in my movie experience where I was like, this is so different than everything that I've watched. And it kind of continued on from there. It might actually have been when I watched Winter Soldier that I started to really see like, whoa, there's a quality change. Towards the end of the experience, it's crazy to see how Marvel in general kind of changed up their formula. You watch the first couple movies and it's very serious with like a few funny lines here and there. Where as you keep going, it's kind of flipped. Like it's, I think they're really trying to um, get you with like rewatch value. And I think they wanted to make it good for people who, you know, maybe aren't really into Marvel, but like they can watch it and enjoy it. And I think maybe that's how um it changed when disney kind of took over the movies because it does have a little bit of a disney flair to it there's no doubt about it but yeah even the cinematography it's interesting and the cgi the cgi is insane don't get me wrong the early movies like they look great they look stunning but you know 10 years a lot has changed yeah it was definitely interesting but i think winter soldier in terms of like cinematography i think was really what i noticed like whoa this is like this is a movie. <laughs> this is, ooh, I like this one too. This one's basically talking about villains. Do I wish there was one that was more developed or kind of stood his ground for longer? Honestly, even though he scares me, I really hope Mysterio 
is more involved with upcoming movies. The way that like the post credit scene kind of set it up could possibly like keep that up. But I think like with that technology from watching that one scene where Peter is trying to fight him and like it keeps changing, fucked with my mind so much. I was like, God damn, like to think everything that you're seeing is not real and how it's supposed to be. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. His hunger for like being an Avenger kind of person or like being the next Tony Stark, being in that position, like the depth that he went to to do that with the technology, I think is really interesting. So I would like to see him more in it. And honestly, probably Killmonger, I thought was a really interesting character. Cause again, what he was saying was really good. <laughs> Just the way he went about it was awful. Ooh, and um, Hot Lady from Ragnarok. What was her name? Hella? I think she'd be cool to see too. Like, they think she's gone, but she's really not. I don't really know what they could do with her character though, but I think it'd be interesting to learn more about like what she did with the dad, with um, Odin, because you know, like when they had that mural and she was holding the hammer, I was like, oh shit, like they were in it. They were doing things that we don't even want to know about. That would be really interesting. That could even be like a mini series. Oh my God, Disney. Like, even if it's just all backstory of like her and Odin and like how she got, like basically damned you know what i mean oh oh put me in the executive producing chair right now how do you feel about wandavision after experiencing the full saga honestly i really want to sit down and rewatch wandavision i might do it again with my sister because i'm gonna really make her do it and um just thinking back though about the show a ton of details that i did not pick up on because i just simply didn't know was it still like a really enjoyable show most definitely. The topic of grieving and like getting over death and accepting what is, is universal. Like you don't need to know all of Marvel to appreciate and understand that show. But knowing what I know now, I feel like it's just gonna be a whole nother world of pain when I rewatch it. And I'm kind of scared to do that, honestly. But yeah, they really did the damn thing with WandaVision. Okay, I think the rest of the comments are pretty much kind of the same thing as we already talked about. I'm seeing just though like overall just a lot of really amazing and super sweet comments and I really appreciate it. I actually just saw one asking what was my favorite movie to edit and what was the hardest. The hardest definitely was the first two that you see because I did edit them in order as you watch them. So Captain America and Captain Marvel were definitely the hardest because I couldn't really figure out my footing in the videos yet. I didn't really know the pacing. I was still really struggling with like how long the videos were gonna be. So that was really hard. And then the last two Avengers were the hardest. And not even because like I didn't like the footage or I don't like the movie. It's just by the time I got to the last two, I was so tired. <laughs> I'm like, I love Marvel. Like I'm here, I'm in it, but God damn, am I tired. And then favorite, again, <laughs> I actually really like this movie. I think Age of Ultron was probably one of my favorites, but I think that was because we got introduced to Wanda and Vision, and I was just so excited through that movie viewing that it made it more fun editing because I got to one, rewatch my reaction, and two, really like edit off of that and kind of play off of what I was already doing in the video, so. I think that was good. It definitely makes it worth it with how much love and support I have gotten on the series. I can't tell you like how much it means to me and I was so nervous too <laughs> when I posted the first part because I was like, watch me, you know, I've worked on this for so long and then it flops and like no one cares and everyone's like, this is awful. <laughs> I'm so happy that didn't happen. Thank God because I think I would have actually had a mental breakdown. But yeah, I just, I really appreciate it and I don't know how else to express my love and I'm just happy that, you know, a lot of you guys have new comfort videos that you can go back to. That is the whole point of this channel, you know, I know there are times where I'm not really consistent with uploading or I feel bad like if I have sponsors, just heads up if anyone's still watching and cares. I have sponsors pretty much planned out until October <laughs> because my, my manager, my agency, like, ooh, they're keeping a girl employed. And then I always feel bad, like, shoving sponsors down your guys' throats, but you're so supportive of it and you liked my beard, some of you. So I'll try to make them fun and interesting, but I just really appreciate having such a good community and I can't wait for more movies. Like I said, I definitely will continue on with Marvel. It might not be every release because goddamn, there's quite a bit coming out. But yeah, I just really appreciate it. So 
I don't think I have anything else to say. I mean, I feel like this video has probably been long enough, but if you have any more comments, actually, or questions or things you want me to dive in deeper, um, comment them down below and I will do my best to answer. Deal? Deal. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a long video, long journey, but I love you a lot and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.